Hey guys, welcome to Beyond the Lens. This week I'm going to show you the render settings in Adobe Premiere for YouTube. Now this works for CS5, CS5.5 and CS6. So let's get started. In my timeline I've got my finished article which just happens to be my intro. I'll just quickly run through there. It was very nicely done for me by Mark Somerville. I've got this selected and I've got made sure my markers, which is there, my start and finish markers are filling my whole movie. The way to tell that an area is selected is it has a little yellow or orange line around it. If I click on here, you'll notice the line is around there or on the tracker there. But we're going back onto here. So it's all selected, ready. I've got a file. Export media. Make sure your format is H264. Preset YouTube widescreen HD. That's if you're doing it in HD, of course, but you can do it in SD, standard, well, standard definition, whichever. Make sure multiplexing is on MP4. This you don't really need to touch. Click on where it says here, if I'll show you again quickly, where it says output name. So I'm going to put this in my videos, into my stuff, and I'm going to call this the old now, intro. There we go. And save. Export. If we move that over there, you'll see the encoder sequence is going over nice and quick. I hope this was helpful, and there'll be another tutorial next week.